Hey guys, Raul at Firetext here. So we're back here to uh, understand grouping. And uh, that's one of our uh, newer features that we've released with Firetext. And what grouping allows you to do is it really or allows you to organize your phone numbers that you have. So um, when you can organize your phone numbers, you can organize your bulk SMS campaigns. And uh, just overall, um, you just know your audience a lot better. So let's say, for example, you have your user accounts here. Now, within our newer FireTex uh, version uh, 1.7.4.35 and up, um, you will see a little groupings button under the user accounts tag. So click on user accounts and then let's go to grouping or groups. Now over here, you'll see a little field says name and uh, that's where you can add a group. So let's say um, FireTex uh, party. There we go. So we'll add this group over here and let's add the next one to be um, Pepsi. There we go. So we just added two groups over here. So this is uh, this is all we're going to do for now. So let's hit OK. Now once you've added your groups you can select the user that you want by just right clicking the user going edit and choosing the group that you want to put them in. And you can see here when you uh, scroll to your right you'll see the group name that that person's into. Now a really cool thing that you can do is, uh, I'm just going to stretch this out a little bit so we can take a look. Stretch it out like that. So you can select multiple users by holding down the shift key and then selecting the next number. So just click one then hold on the shift key and select the, the last part of the group. Just like any Windows operation. Then you can right click, edit user, and they can mass add them to a group and there we go we just added all those users now what a lot of people do is that I'm gonna take my entire database that I have here and then I'm gonna place these people into a group so I have 8,000 people I want to add to the Pepsi group so we'll just let it work here it's going through 8,000 phone numbers now basically what will happen is um, all these 8,000 people from Unite will be placed into the Pepsi group. So from now on, any new people that come into your system will not be assigned to a group. And this is where you can, uh, you'll, you'll see them. So right now, every single phone number here is in the Pepsi group. So let's, like any new phone numbers that come in will not have a group name assigned to them. And with that, then we can, um, then we can, we can, we can create another group and put them in another group. So that's how you can organize your, let's say, one event from the other. You can separate the events that way. And um, basically the way the group stuff works is now we have all of our users in a group. Let's go to bulk SMS and let's go add new and create a text message. So let's go test text message out. So here is the Pepsi info. Now you can select the groups and only send messages to that Pepsi group or to the fire text party group so let's go Pepsi and then we'll check all users so we want online offline users and then just hit save so now it'll collect 8076 numbers and put them in that group but let's say we want to change it up and we want to switch that to the fire text party group and hit update and now we only have one user because we only have one user assigned in our group over here. And you can see the rest are the Pepsi group. So that's it, guys. That is our grouping feature. And uh, all you have to do is just hit send. And that will send the message out to that group, that scheduled group. That's it, guys. Take care. And uh, thanks for your time again. Bye-bye.